We're never not classy here at Nicki Swift. Once again, we've gone ahead and done the dirty work for you tracking down several celebs who seemingly farted on live TV. You won't be able to believe your eyes or your ears. Let's hold our noses and dive deep. You're really tempting fate with a name like Nancy Grace. While competing in a 2011 episode of Dancing with the Stars, the bombastic TV journalist may have succumbed to an on-air butt blurt and right on the heels of her highly publicized wardrobe malfunction the week before. It was a bit top-heavy at times, my darling. As you can hear for yourself, Grace offered up what might be her most noxious soundbite to date. I saw them several times during the dance and they were smiling so big. <laughs> well, let's see if the judges can give us something to smile about after this very emotional night. This one is most assuredly not fake fart news. During a 2017 Fox News interview with professional gas bag Janine Perot, 2016 presidential candidate Ben Carson was enthusiastically discussing something called the Envision program. And shortly after he recited a bit of scripture, it sounded like some divine intervention swept in. You know, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, without a vision, the people perish. And uh, I discovered... The nasty news nugget was overlooked by most media outlets, but at least The Daily Show caught wind of Carson's presumed pant puffer. Host Trevor Noah deadpanned. Ben Carson didn't just fart loudly on TV, he did it while quoting scripture. Noah goes on to say, Let's not let this hilarious moment distract us from the real issue. While supporting deep budget cuts to his department, Carson is spending lavishly on dining sets, lounge furniture, and $5,000 chairs, which is not okay unless that chair costs $5,000 because it has sophisticated fart suppressing technology. In that case, it's money well spent. On April 15th, 2019, several online publications were trying to get to the bottom of what Deadspin called a potential cough fart. This wasn't your average alleged cough fart either, because this potential cough fart was possibly perpetuated by sports commentator Max Kellerman, a co-host of ESPN's First Take. During an allegedly noisy conversation centered around pro basketball player Kevin Durant, Kellerman quite possibly succumbed to an on-air, off-camera high-knee hiccup. To make matters even murkier, he might have attempted to conceal the sound of his fizzling flatulence. Listen and learn. He ain't scared of anything. Well, is Draymond comes scared of something? To, no, but the difference is, is that Draymond is <laughs> usually arguing and fighting with the rest. Here's an instant replay in case you missed it. No, but the difference is, is that Draymond <laughs> usually all... As Deadspin noted, and we quote, it very much sounded like someone coughed as a maneuver to cover up a fart. It did, didn't it? And the situation might be even more dire than that. One bat-eared Redditor claimed Kellerman farted a total of seven times during the broadcast. And this intrepid fan even timestamped each presumed sphincter siren. For example, he noted that the alleged anal acoustics included a so-called little squish. Can you hear it? On the other hand, maybe he learns his lesson early, you know? And then there's this teachable moment, which the Redditor warns is, quote, a bit quiet. In our opinion, it's not quiet enough. Less of an irritant mm. than somebody. Like, for In its own unflinching story, AOL pointed out that Kellerman had some explaining to do. And explain away he did. He appeared on the Dan LeBatard show the next day and denied that any of this ever happened. I will say this. No, I did not fart in the set. I have farted in the past, though. That is true. But that is, that is not one of the instances. <laughs> well, by one Redditor's tally, it's seven of the instances. Is there trouble brewing at ESPN? It certainly sounds like it. Former NBA star and current ESPN commentator Paul Pierce may have suffered his own on-air indiscretion on May 8, 2019. According to TMZ, he farted on co-host Michelle Beadle. This reportedly went down during a broadcast of Off the Clock, and Pierce's presumed past gas didn't exactly pass under the radar either. Here's how Beadle and sports analyst Jalen Rose reacted. Nasty. Michelle Beadle smelling something in the air. <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman is this big guy. <laughs> That's an inside oh. joke. We're trapped in a room, y'all. Following the segment, ESPN producer Mike Goldfarb gave Pierce the benefit of the doubt tweeting that Paul may or may not have farted at the start of the taping. Doing her part to clear up any confusion, Beadle responded, No, he did, period. Judging by what we heard, that may indeed be the truth.
Does the name Joe Swash ring a bell? While he's yet to make waves in America, he's evidently breaking plenty of wind on the other side of the pond. On television, no less. The English actor and TV personality is perhaps best known for his stint on the British soap opera EastEnders. He played a character named Mickey Miller, a character who, coincidentally enough, gets injured in a major gas explosion. Mickey! No, we can't keep that! We're so Mickey! We're burning! I'm busy broke her ankle, Jace! Help us do something! On February 12, 2019, it sounded like Swash really let loose on an episode of the talk show Loose Women. While opening up about matters of the heart, he was rudely interrupted by an altogether different part of his anatomy. Some dinner, and then I would tell her what I think about her, rather wow. than in a letter. This alleged fluffadoodle reverberated through social media channels, with one startled viewer tweeting, Did Joe Swash just fart on live TV? Was he brought up with my dad in our council house? The answer to one of those questions seems to be a resounding yes. What's more, this apparently wasn't the first time Swash emitted some thunder from down under. While filming a TV show, he also tooted his own horn while shooting an episode of the children's show The Dog Ate My Homework, which you can clearly hear in this outtake. Ian, Captain Scott weren't from London. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, whatever pays the bills. British people are embarrassed easily, a fact that actor Leslie Nielsen apparently knew how to exploit. On June 20th, 1991, the airplane star perked up two daytime hosts with what sounded like some impromptu rump ruckus. The on-air awkwardness went down on UK morning show TV AM. Till now, and you really start to watch what's happening. That's Sounds the other thing about the humor is you have to pay attention to it. <laughs> the host didn't let it slide either. Are you, you're not going to ask me to leave, are you? <laughs> well, maybe, maybe you'd just like to go to the little ladies' room for a while, or the little gents' room, and, and then oh, maybe come back and just sort yourself out. Corrected you know? that, yeah. Later, Ulrika Johnson presented the weather in Wales, quipping... I'm so sorry about this. We're suffering from wind here as well. <laughs> It's worth noting that Nielsen also appeared to have some trouble on the British chat show Wogan back in 1989. I'm always associated with being, a, you know, a man who has a background and education and I'm well-mannered and, you know, I have to protect, protect that image. When I'm... But in the grand tradition of pull my finger, the late actor could have been pulling your proverbial leg. In 2015, Ted Danson told the AV Club, Nielsen had a handheld bellows-like thing that was a fart noise maker. He was relentless. Most people would do something like that, get a few laughs and put it away. He would not. Here's another working theory. Nielsen's tailwinds were genuine and he only used this clever contraption to cover his tracks. Sadly, Nielsen took the truth and his love for potty humor to the grave. According to Snopes, his gravestone in Fort Lauderdale's Evergreen Cemetery contains one final fart joke. In lieu of the traditional RIP, Nielsen opted for Letter Rip. A moment of silence, not a chance. Excuse me, I don't know whether I can do this. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicky Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.